Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today, I can announce we've got the brand new Mega City maps for Alpha 21 with all those new juicy POIs ready for download at Nexus Games. The download links are, of course, in the description below. There are certainly a few little squiffy things with Alpha 21 that I'm sure will get ironed out, but praise has to be given to the Fump Pimps for doing some serious optimization. I'm going to be comparing Alpha 20 and Alpha 21 with the 16K Multi Bio Mega city map. We're going to push my machine at full ultra settings with 2,000 meter draw distance and see the differences in the game and I tell you, you'll be surprised. So how have your experiences been so far with Alpha 21? Here on the community server that we have, you can get more information in the Discord, we've got zombies randomly hitting things and not really wanting to path around where there is an absolutely obvious way to kind of get round and give you a good thumping. And uh, you can do a few little tricks too if you stand close to an object, like I'm standing close to this wall, and here I am at a lamp, and if I stand there, these couple of pairs of little cheeky zombies, they want to go and hit those lampposts. So there's definitely something odd with pathing. And yeah, I'd love to know what you think and uh, if there's anything a little bit odd that you have found in game. Of course, you could use this to your advantage. Here I am earlier with those two little chaps and I decided just to stand face right into a tree. And if you do that, then they will uh, they will hit that rather than you. Uh, also, I found a few giant holes, which is, uh, well, rather interesting to say the least. And of course, well, magazines and far too many of these things. What's your views? So let's get into the challenge here. The comparison, Alpha 20 at the top of the screen, Alpha 21 at the bottom, and I'm gonna load up their respective 16K Mega City multi-biome maps. Now, of course, they are different maps, even though they're the same size, because they've got different POIs. With Alpha 21, we've got loads more POIs. Lots for me to review, of course. Now, I'll speed this up in a moment, but you could press pause here and you could vote in the good old comments which ones you think is going to win, Alpha 20 or Alpha 21. Well, we're speeding up the screens on both of these during their loading period. And, uh, well, are you going to be right? Which one's going to make it? Well, it is, in fact, Alpha 20 that gets in there first because it's probably loading a lot less things. But you can also see, if you concentrate at the top, that, wowzer, it is uh, pretty juddery and it keeps kind of stuttering for me. At the bottom there, Alpha 21, as smooth as butter, absolutely gorgeous. Now, it was accentuated a little bit because I was running my, my capture software and I was running some other bits and bobs in the background. So I was really pushing my machine, but the comparison is valid and the same for both. Now at the bottom, everything looks absolutely lovely. I'm just going into God mode there. And in both of them, I've turned the weather off because I wanted to not have all that fog. In fact, what do you think of the weather in Alpha 21? I tell you, it feels pretty harsh, doesn't it? And sometimes it's really quite dark as well. But anyway, once we get in there, there's the proof that we have that 2,000 uh, meter distance. Let's compare what it's like when we're flying around. So I'm in God mode. Look at the top of the screen, Alpha 20. I'm jumping forward and then suddenly nothing's there. We're waiting for things to load. And this was just classic for this game for all this time. But at the bottom, Alpha 21, you can see me flying around like a total natter. And uh, everything loads up perfectly. Even when you get to the ground and uh, the proper Full POI has to load. It loads up so very, very quickly. So there are all the things that we uh, kind of might moan about in game. Things that you like, things that you don't, things that you want to change back, things that you want to change even more. And the bottom line is the game has got so much better, so much smoother, and that makes the biggest difference. So anyway, look, I'm just gabbling on right now. Thank you to our members. Uh, thank you also specifically to Serky, who was on the roof collecting the water earlier on in the video. Uh, click the nice buttons, uh, drop a comment, click the bad buttons if you don't like it, and uh, of course, thank you. Watch one of these videos. I'll see you later. Goodbye!